I, I read it um, when I first knew that Jamie was going to do it, and I thought, how on earth is this stageable? How, how can the kind of the satire of this, um, how, how can it be pertinent? And it's come out into this incredibly funny, and in places like really creepy evening that hits you. You know, we're coming up to a general election and it punches you square in the stomach. It's brilliant. It's inventive. It's the performances are extraordinary. I'm I'm just I'm just terribly proud and excited to have been invited to it and to be able to kind of watch the Trafalgar continue its extraordinary work. I think actually without Jamie this is something this is a text that could have been a sort of an archive piece that might have been done here and now. I think that suddenly it's been grasped by the by the scruff of its neck, but it's an extraordinary text. It's incredibly pertinent, but it's very funny. And I think it's timeless. I, th I think that it's just lovely that it's been picked up now. And so everyone goes, oh, oh, and this makes it that, that. I mean, its themes are, are, are just about kind of, you know, uh, the disproportionate wealth between the poor and the rich, the way that everyone kind of behaves. And I think that that's kind of timeless. I've said the word timeless twice. That's how much I feel about the word timeless and the timeless nature of the piece. I, I was aware of him through film, of course, and I first came, the first thing I saw him do on stage was when we were doing Richard III and he came to do a, um, a sort of a workshop in the afternoon, an open workshop where he did the Cassius speech. Um, do I mean Cassius? I think I do. No. Mark Antony. I come to Barry Caesar not, uh, not to praise him. And there was this moment where I was, I was sitting there, it was before a show, I was tired and I was completely blown away. He's got those eyes, he's got this presence which is electric and he holds it together. He completely holds it together. What he does on screen is magnificent but he's got this kind of raw electricity, like this god of electricity energy that hits audience when he's on stage. He's completely and utterly, un, un, you can't take your eyes off him.